What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome to Pokemon Go! I can't believe I'm playing Pokemon Go right now. Um, I honestly didn't think I would. Uh, I don't really leave the house that much, um, other than to kind of like go gym and do a few other errands uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. But I'm in a pretty loaded area for some pretty decent Pokemon, so I'm told. Now, I am level 5, but I am pretty new to this game. Um, there's a lot I don't know, but what I'm going to do today is just show you my Pokedex show you what I've got going on on my game and um, basically that's it. Now there's actually two gyms really really close to me which is fantastic. I have just used an incense so that we can actually catch a Pokemon on video because I want to show you my skills. It's actually a CP48 as well. I, like, I'm just too good. Honestly I am the best Poke trainer you are ever gonna see. Look at that. Shaky shaky, shaky shaky, eggs and bakey. He is mine. There we go. That's what you say, by the way. It gives you like a little bit of extra energy or some shit. I, I don't know. Um, we get ourselves 100 Stardust and three um, three Evolution Balls for the Weedle. Uh, I do have several Weedles already. Um, uh, has it? I have 32 Weedle Candy, which goes to show how many Weedles I have. Where did that... No, there was a... Uh... Where did he go? There was a was there was a Pidgey or some shit by my feet a second ago. Like I say, I used the incense for the sake of the video, but um, near me, as you can see, I've got Weedle, I've got Rattata, I've got the uh, um, Caterpie. I don't know what this is. It look I don't like. It looks like something out of Monsters Inc. Right? Like it genuinely does. Um, I as you can see, like here. Well, you can't see where my fingers point. It's a little blue dot. I don't know how you can zoom in. Um, that's the first Poke Gym that's close to me, and it's actually my local shops just up the road. And there's actually two gyms and a Poke Stop where I park, basically. So um, I can actually hit two gyms from just going to the shop. And I I can't check the gyms just yet because I'm only level five. But this isn't a high Pokemon area. Like I I actually think I might be able to control both gyms quite easily and quite quickly. Um, so that's kind of where we're at with that. Now with my actual uh, Pokemon, um, you can see there my, my best Pokemon is a Golbat uh, with CP130. We've got a Drowsy CP96, a Parass CP93, um, and then it kind of like tails off into the 60s, 50s, 40s. And I don't necessarily understand exactly how the um, powering up, evolving, or transferring works. What I understand is that if you transfer something, you basically get the dust for it, uh, you or you get like the balls, the uh, the evolution balls. So yeah, we got a Rattata candy for transferring the Rattata, and we don't necessarily need the Rattata. I don't like I say I don't really know how it works. Um, in terms of powering up, you're supposed to power up and evolve your best, the best version of the uh, the one that you've got, and then transfer the rest. Right. So we've got a whole bunch of Weedles here. I'm like I get a lot of Weedles anyway. Because I guess where where I am, where my house is, so we'll transfer uh, the Weedle there. We'll transfer both of these Weedles. I'm hoping that the the better the version of the Weedle, the more candy that you might get. But we only seem to be getting one candy per Weedle right now, and I don't necessarily want to um, evolve or uh, or power up a Weedle right now. But I will because. I don't, I don't have anything else to do. Um, right, so we actually got this Weedle here. Do, do we only get one for him as well? Yeah, see, we only seem, seemingly only get one for each one. Now, I've actually got, I've got 29 Pokemon here. Um, I've, I've been doing a, I, I get a little bit lucky with, uh, with just outside my house. Because as you can see, probably on the minimap there, there's a lot of Greenland around me. There's a lot of woodlands around and stuff, which is why I think we get the Weedle so much. And we get a lot of, like, the Spearows and the Pidgeys and stuff like that. Um... Is the game bugging out? All right, let's say no. We don't want to transfer. Okay, couldn't transfer a Weedle. Fair enough. But when we look at our best Weedle, which is this guy here, we could evolve him. We could power him up. I think I like. I don't necessarily know how the power up and evolve situation works. I am reading a lit a lot of literature on Pokemon Go, trying to figure out the game and stuff. Uh, but I was on Reddit for ages yesterday, reading it. I've been watching a lot of Alie's videos. Um, trying to like work out what the hell to do and when to do it But for the sake of the video, let's power him up because I don't know what powering up does. I don't know what it's gonna do to him He went up five. What a useless piece of shit What a you oh like come on Weedle 
Wait, 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 we've got something. I heard it vibrate. Well, I felt it vibrate anyway. Oh yeah, look, he's back. See, the Spiro, a Pidgey, not a Spiro, a Pidgey. I knew that there was a Pidgey there before. He's a CP28. He's an absolute waste of space. We might get double XP for that because that was a curveball and a nice throw. The nice throw I've worked out is if you hit it first time, the curveball is obviously if you curve the ball. So I'm hoping we get 120 XP for that rather than just 110. No, see, we've got Pokemon Court and Curveball, but nothing else. We've got another 100 Stardust. We've got three Pidgey Candy. We now have 18 Pidgey Candy and it costs 12 to evolve a Pidgey. That's not too bad. Congratulations, you earn a medal. Caught 10 flying type Pokemon. Get in. Um, so ha happy days, happy days with that. This game is so stupid. I actually, like, in a way it's, it's decent because it causes people to go out and uh, do potentially more exercise than they previously had done. But it also means that you could die because you're not paying attention to your surroundings. You know, you just walk out into the street trying to catch a Pokemon. I've got another one near me. Where is it? What's that? Is that Spearow? Come on. I'm clicking on you. I'm clicking on it. Don't. Yeah, there we go. A wild Spearow appeared. Oh yeah, this incense is doing great work. But even though actually this Spearow is... What a terrible throw. This Spearow isn't the incense. Hey, that hit him. Game. Game, please. Boop. Um, yeah, this Spearow isn't from the incense. It's actually just from my general surroundings. Like, he would have been there uh, no matter what. So, um, come on, bro. I hit you with that perfectly there. Oh, God, I've thrown it over you. Scoop. Boom. On the noggin. I've wasted like four balls here for a Spearow. God damn it. God damn it. Um, but yeah, we get we get ourselves another Spearow. I'm not going to get any bonus XP for that. Just the 100. Oh, I actually got 10 for a curveball. That's what's up. Um, so an a, a CP81 Spearow. He's actually one of my highest uh, one of my highest Pokemon right now, isn't he? Yeah, that's my third best Pokemon right now. So uh, happy with that. Um, we do have a couple of Raticates there, as you can see. Uh, the Golbat, let's see what, let, let's see about, so we can't evolve the Golbat, obviously. We can power the Golbat up. We have Zubat Candy, we have Stardust, let's see how much he gets. He got 27, he got plus 27 for that evolve. So, do I keep evolving him, or do I save this stuff for um, future, you know, for, for new, when new uh, Pokemon come? Because, like, obviously the higher the level you get, the better the, le the level of the Pokemon that you catch R, which is obviously understandable. And when we look at my items, I've got 10 Potion, 10 Revive, 31 Pokeballs, the camera and egg incubator. I don't know how to get the egg or what the egg does or how to use it or anything like that. I've only just turned level five, literally like just before I started recording this video. So um, I'm not sure if that has a bearing on the situation. When we look at my Pokedex, yeah, I've got, I've got some of them. Um, we have got number 109. I don't know how many there are. Um, I don't think there are 109. I think when I see, like, if I saw now level, if I saw, like, 140, it would then drop down even further. But we have ourselves a drowsy scene one, caught one. Perfect. Um, we have a coughing scene one and caught one. Uh, his evolution into whatever the hell that thing is. A poison gas Pokemon. Looks like an absolute monster. Um, what else have we got? We've got ourselves this little dude, the Paras. We've seen one and caught one of those. Uh, we've got the Zubat, we've seen two and caught two, and we've got the Golbat, we've seen one and caught one. Uh, I don't know what this is. The Nidoran, seen one and caught one of him. He, that Nidoran was a really common one in the actual Pokemon games. Uh, Spearow, we've seen two and caught two. Pidgey, we've seen six and caught five. Uh, Pidgeotto, one out of one, and that's uh, that's oh Pidgey Pidgeotto to the next thing, whatever the hell that is. Uh, Ratata upgrades to Raticate, and we also have Raticate scene three and caught three Raticates. Uh, we have the Weedle. Uh, this little bug on the right hand side actually, I've actually seen those in my area and I just ne I couldn't I couldn't really find them. Um, uh, the, uh, I don't know what the hell that is, that's the Caterpie isn't it? The Caterpie obviously goes into a Butterfly and then Charmander, uh, which I don't know if, I don't know if we should have like evolved Charmander because I've been reading stuff where it basically says that the, the Pokemon that you get to start with is shit so don't bother playing about with him um we only have three charmander candy so it would be a little bit of a waste to uh to evolve the charmander but i just wanted to show you guys my pokedex my pokemon like I i'll show I'll, I'll probably do i don't know if i'll do this every day um if 
I need to figure out how to record my iPhone whilst I'm out. I can do it whilst I'm at home because as you can see, I've got a wire going through into it, which logs, like puts it all into my computer and onto my uh, monitor and stuff like that. If I went out to actually go and catch, oh my God, what the hell is that? A wild seal? I don't even want, I've, what? Boom, get straight in there, sunshine. I don't know, I don't know if, what part of the family he is. We're gonna have to go and have a look at him. Don't bust out, yeah, shaky, shaky, eggs and bakey. Let's get that uh, seal. So yeah, when I figure out how the hell to um, record my iPhone whilst I'm out, I'll start doing some vlogs with it. Until then, I'll probably just do an update every couple of days um, to show you what I've done and, and where I'm at. Now, what the hell is that? Um, where, where the hell is that? Is my Pokedex not update? How do you update the Pokedex? Oh no, it's there. He's right there, number 86. Okay, so he is the low version. Sea Lion Pokemon. Seal hunts for prey in the frigid sea underneath sheets of ice. When it needs to breathe, it punches a hole through the ice with a sharply protruding section of its head. I mean, it makes it makes perfect sense that that's what it would do. Um, but yeah, so uh, with that being said, I will see you guys probably in a couple of days. Any tips, hints and tricks that you've got for Pokemon Go, leave them down below. If you've got an insane kind of like Pokemon collection or if you're like a really high level, um, then obviously just tweet me, twitter.com slash Nepenthes, show me what you got. Uh, this is going to be the end of Pokemon Go for me for today. I'm going to, uh, I'm actually going to go and take a walk. I've got to go to the shop anyway, so I'm going to go and take a walk to the shop and see if I can catch myself a whole bunch of Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be the end of Pokemon Go for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.